Welcome to the tutorial Scanning Images in Animate. Before we begin, I want you to make sure that the drivers for your scanning device have been installed on your computer. For example, the laptop that I happen to be recording these tutorials on, I bought fairly recently. And up until having to record these tutorials, I had found a default software on Mac that I could use to scan images in with. But then when I tried in software such as Photoshop and Animate Animate Pro, I wasn't able to. It didn't recognize my printer. So I really had to go on the website of the make of my printer and find those drivers and download them and they're usually always available by the manufacturer online. If you have an internet connection you could download them pretty easily or if your scanner is new you probably have the disks to automatically install those drivers with. So let's begin. So to scan an image you have to go to the top menu and select File, Acquire from Twain. So then the Acquire from Twain dialog box opens and you should see your scanner in this dialog box here, this drop down. Um, if you have multiple, you might see multiple devices listed. Then you have the same layer options you always get, whether you'd like to create a new layer, add to existing layer. Um, I'm going to create a new layer and because I'm going to show you three different types of scanning, two different ways of vectorizing your scan and one way of not vectorizing your scan. So I'm going to name this vectorized color just so we know. And I'm going to obviously vectorize. I won't put it in a symbol this time and in my vectorization parameters section I'm going to keep it in color. And so one thing that you need to know is that if you want to view a preview in the window here you have to actually perform a scan in your device's um, scanning interface. And I'll show you what I mean. So if I click Preview, so I happen to have an HP DeskJet uh, you know, F300 series uh, printer scanner. So this is the interface for my specific scanner. And I want to scan a picture instead of a document, and I'm going to say Scan. So what's being scanned right now will not be processed into Animate. This is just a preview so that it'll appear in the Acquire from Twain dialog box that belongs to Animate, but it's not actually going to be loaded into the software at all. It's just a preview. So your interface might look a little different, um, but for mine I know I have to press Return. It's sending it, so now this is sending it to the Acquire from Twain window and then I just close this and the Acquire from Twain window appears and so this is the preview that I scanned but nothing has actually been scanned into the software. So now I'm going to actually scan and you see the exact same dialog window and you go through the exact same process. So this time when I go up and I hit the return button and my information is being is sent to the destination and I'm going to close my window, you'll notice that an actual layer appeared called vectorized color with that drawing. So before nothing appeared in the timeline and now we have a layer in the timeline. Um, so now I'm going to actually create a second scan and call it vector, vectorized black and white. It was called BW, so that's black and white. We're going to vectorize it again, but this time we're going to make it in black and white. So you have a few options for the black and white vectorization. The first one being the threshold. So if you're scanning in an image that has been outlined or inked in black, 20 isn't a bad threshold. However, in our case, we have a very sketchy, faint, graphite drawn, so 20 is a bit high. I would reduce it to something like 2 or even go far as reducing it to 0. So the next option is the expand option, and this will expand really thin lines um, and give them a little bit more thickness. So I'm going to add in at least a, some type of value in that field as well. The last option is a smoothing option, and in this case, once again, because we have a rough, sketchy uh, pencil drawing, it's good to add a bit of smoothing. Um, if you have something that's already inked and very precise, you might not want to add so much smoothing because you'd like to keep some of that detail. So then we can click on the Apply button to get a preview of what um, these vectorization parameters 
will create and it would look something like this. Um, and you can even toggle back and forth between the vectorized image and the source image so that you can make a comparison between the two. Um, you can also zoom in to see, uh, to do little checks to see where there are areas where there's gaps or whatnot. So you can, you know, also uh, verify what you're doing. Um, you can also click on the auto apply button if you plan on changing several of the values until you get a result that you like. You can just auto apply so you don't have to keep clicking on the apply button. So the one thing that you shouldn't get confused about is as you make changes here and keep applying, you haven't actually scanned anything. So nothing's been scanned using these parameters. This is just a preview. So you really do have to click on the scan button. So we're going to go through the same process here and choose a picture and scan. And once again, just to reiterate, I'm not scanning in a preview. I'm scanning in the actual image this time. Okay, and now let's send it to animate and close the window. So once again, you can see another layer has been created in the timeline, our vectorized black and white image. So the last uh, way I'd like to scan in this image is actually as a non-vectorized image. So I'm going to create a new layer and just call it bitmap because then we know it's not a vectorized image. So as you can see, all the vectorization parameters have now been disabled. You no longer have access to them. I'm not going to make a symbol either, and I'm just going to scan. Okay, last one, same process. I'm going to return it um, or send it to my destination and close that. And then I'm going to close the Acquire from Twain dialog box. So if my scanner seems super fast, it's probably because I sped up the uh, time it took to scan all the drawings more for your sake, uh, just not to waste your time to just watch the scanning progress bar go across. Um, but let's take a quick look at the three types of scans that I brought in. So let's look at the color one first. Give the select tool. Uh, because this is quote unquote vectorized, you have a vectorized frame with a bitmap fill, almost like a texture fill when you color. And you can easily, if I hold down the shift button, it'll rotate to uh, very precise increments. And then if I zoom in, so you can see it looks just like the bitmap would. It's, it hasn't been vectorized in terms of the actual line art. It's been vectorized as a frame or an image. So then if we look at the next vectorized image, this one has actually been um, vectorized in. So just the black lines with the white taken out. And we can do the same thing we did with the other image and rotate the uh, the bowl of rice with the chopsticks just so it looks right. Um, so you, as you notice as I selected it there's a bunch of extra points everywhere and this could be anything from bits of graphite to hair or dirt or whatever so all that got vectorized as well and as you see here you have like a full vector drawing if you choose the contour editor you can change the contour points as well um, if you want to paint uh, your image you can do that as well with the large gaps closed should fill in uh, so you can manipulate this drawing pretty much like you would something that you've actually drawn in animate using the brush tool um, lastly we have the full bitmap image and this one um, can only be manipulated using the uh, transform tool so you can't use the select tool to move it, but you can use a transform tool um, to rotate it as well and do any of those manipulations. And this is, um, like we said, a full bitmap image. It Even the frame can't be manipulated the same way as the vectorized color. Um, it's pretty much the image as is. So that's it for the tutorial, scanning images and animate. 
Stay tuned for the next tutorial, Scanning Images in Animate Pro.